Okay, okay, welcome back. This is part 33 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. Uh, in the last video, I was cut short because of my time limit. I was trying to keep it as short as possible. Um, so, what I was, what I forgot to show you is that the change password works. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my current password, um, which actually, eh. Yeah, uh, I'm actually going to pause the video and change my current password so you guys can't see it. Okay, so what it is, I paused the video and I uh, changed my password so you guys can't see it. Uh, all I did is I changed it to password. So my current password is right now is password. So which I definitely do not recommend. Um, so my new password, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type it in up here and copy and paste it sh to show you that it's actually changing. So um, I guess actually what I'll do is I'm gonna change it to uh, basic Nick with capital B and a capital N. So I'm just gonna paste that in, paste that in. I'm gonna click submit. Your new password has been set. And say if I try to change that, and if I change this, so if I type in password, so I just typed in password, um, it actually saved it. Your information has been saved, but actually did not update. Um, let's try that again. Password. Your information has been saved. That's weird. I guess the password is not working. If I type in something random. And, okay, so that's problematic. It's changing the information regardless, which is definitely really problematic. Um, password. We're getting the password. Type of password. And we're fixing the text. Encrypting it. Select. I'm going to change it to select all. Ah, that's why. Um, because of how this is, we for I forgot to change this. So we want to select all from users where ID equals uh, that and password equals and then our um, password variable right there. So yeah, that's really problematic. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm scroll down and I'm going to paste it, where are you, uh, select all from users, where password, okay, so, uh, just fix that huge problem there, um, so I'm going to re-FTP that file, and, okay, so, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and log out to see which password is actually the current password, so, um, I'm going to click log out, and I'm going to pause the video now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, I just ran into a huge problem, um, and it, the, the problem is that I forgot that I'm using double MD5 encryption on the register page, so, yeah. So, we need to double MD5 encrypt our old password and our new password, right there, um, so, that will fix that. Um, but now that I'm logged out, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go into my database and I'm going to manually change my password and so, yeah, so I'll be right back. Okay, uh, what I just forgot to mention is that you also need to change the, uh, the password encryption up at the top for the edit, the generic information. Uh, I, I also needed to put the double MD5 encryption there because that's how I'm doing it. Um, so now I'm going to go in and change my information. Okay, so I'm back now, and I changed my password to just password. Um, so to test it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this back to basicnick.com, and I'm going to type in something random, and I'm going to click Save Changes, and it says your password was incorrect. I'm going to type in password. I think I spelled that wrong. Type in password, Save Changes and your password was incorrect. Okay, so we're still getting a problem. Um, let's go ahead and try to change the password. Current password is password. The new password will be basic nick and basic nick. We'll click submit. Your current password was incorrect. 
crapaholic. Um, uh, da, 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 da. So, there's obviously a problem with this. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and, or, actually, I'm not going to pause the video. I'm going to create a new file, and I'm just going to put in PHP tags, and I'm going to create a variable. Um, and I'm going to pause the video and be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, what I did is I created a file just to get the double MD5 encryption of the word password, and then I and put it in my database to make sure it was correct. Um, and something I was thinking about is that our query to our our query in the uh, update password form uh, it says password equals password. This should be old pass. So we need to change that to old pass. Um, so yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video once again and upload those file, uh, the uh, edit profile file. Okay. So I was uh, I paused the video obviously um, to test this, this out and everything and upload it. Um, but my servers are going really slow right now. Um, so that sucks. Uh, but I did test it completely and as the script stands, it does work. Now. There is kind of a little problem that I want to change. Uh, it's not really so much as a problem, but as a personal preference. Um, and uh, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entire if statement for the uh, save info, the generic info. I'm going to take this entire if statement. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to get the entire if statement. And I'm going to hit Control x on my keyboard. So I'm going to cut it out. And right now, I'm just going to replace it with an echo that's just going to echo the info form. And I'm going to scroll up to after we set the info form. Um, and right in here, I'm going to put, I'm going to paste the if statement back in. So what it's doing is, it, right now, it's making it so um, it will update. Actually, I'm going to hit Control Z because I don't want it there. Uh, I'm going to put it right after we connect to the database. So right there. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's actually going to make it so after we update our information, it's going to automatically display it once the page loads. So now we need to get rid of all of these info forms for all of this. And this else statement right here, we can completely get rid of it. And we actually need to put that back in right there. So that's going to make it so um, all of our information is going to be displayed once it's directly updated. Um, so it's kind of a, just a personal preference there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that file, the edit profile file. And there we go. I'm going to reload the page and see if this is going to load any faster up here. See, it's, it's loading really, really slow. Um, but it is working as the script stands right now. I tested it multiple times, updating various information. It took about an hour because my my uh, server is running really, really slow. Um, so I guess that concludes this se this part of the series, this segment. Um, so that is how to make an edit profile page, make it so you can edit your profile information, and so your users can edit their profile information. Oh, it loaded. Uh, I'm going to test it. So I'm going to change this to... Uh, Dot com and the current password is password. I'm gonna click save changes and it's taking forever to load. Hopefully be able to get it in before this video ends. And as soon as it's done loading, the current password will automatically blank out. So there won't be anything in it. So you'll be able to tell when it's done. Actually make it so you can see it. And see it because my server is going really really slow, it's saying that the web page is not available. So the, the, the script works. Uh, if you're registered on my site, uh, you can test it out. You can edit your information. It is working. Um, so yeah. So I guess that concludes the edit profile segment of the series. Thanks for watching.